Hello, gentle viewers. This is of Indian, welcoming you to a brand new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 19 as your Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, our first season was not great, 71 and 91, which I believe will put us in a prime position to get ourselves a good draft pick. Um, let's take a look at our salary arbitration numbers. Okay. Sean Bergman had a pretty good year. His ratings suggest he's probably not going to be all that great in the future. But if we can just get a consistent 200 innings, he'll be of use to us. What can we do about getting a longer deal? Uh, we've got plenty of money for extension, so there's no reason we can't extend him. Can I get a deal like this one? No, not. And then I'm going to increase you by a million, and I'm going to increase you by two million. So basically, this is still going to be a cheap contract, but it's one that offers some graduation, so he might be willing to forego the remainder of his arbitration. He'll take it. I'm happy with this. Let's make it a thing. Uh, Jose Lima gave us 141 innings and didn't do that badly. I'm going to grab him now while he's cheap. Because this means if he has a good year, we can flip him. He'd be an idiot to take this, but we'll see what happens. Okay, if he takes that, that's brilliant. Um, Scott Thompson had a pretty decent year. Good all-around power. Didn't hit for enough contact. That's a bit of an issue. And he's pretty PO'd. Why is he angry? Because the team sucked. Hmm... We'll just leave him as is. None of these guys are honestly that thrilling. So we can go ahead in confidence and proceed to award season. Team trainer wants more money. Well, fine. Because we do want a good team trainer. Reggie Jefferson's not very good. So the answer to this is no. I'm not objecting to trading Scott. I'm objecting to getting such a shitty return for it. Good. I could get Tony Graffanino. Graffanino was so based on his defense, I think he'd be a bad addition for us. I'm not going to bother with that. Plus, I don't like Toronto. They're a bunch of jackasses. Crap out in the playoffs, losers. Didn't even make the playoffs last year. And Lima took the extension. That's good news. Not perfect news, but good news. That stupid trainer sign already? There he goes. And now we can go ahead and sim through the rest of the award season. I didn't get a rookie of the year? I kind of figured he might. Herrera had a pretty strong year, all things considered. Um, let's see. Gold Glove winners. Damn, even uh, Omar didn't do shit. Uh, no one from the Diamondbacks. Huh, Carlos Belliard. 
won himself reliever of the year. Congratulations, Carlos. I always liked you. Do we have any silver sluggers? I highly doubt it. Yeah, we had kind of a shit year. Damn, the Reds have Garrett Anderson and Larry Walker? That's a pretty scary bunch. Of course, then here's frickin' Colorado. We have Alex Rodriguez and Scott Rowland and Todd Helton. Oh, dear. Um. Ah, uh, Javier Valentin split the vote with Herrera. That's a shame. I'm nowhere near the MVP or Cy Young Award, so I'm fine with this. You really need the team's help. Let's start a charity. Andy Bennis with the Cy Young Award. Huh. This is not a super great draft. There could be more in here. Let's at least see what our, where our draft pick is. Uh, transaction draft order. Oh, we'll be first overall again. How does that work? We weren't that bad, were we? Are you are you guaranteed the number one overall pick a certain number of times? Eh, you gave Thompson more money. It's not unreasonable. Okay, remember... Our goal is to find players that we can turn around for draft picks, or for prospects. We do not expect to sign great free agents. Yeah, I would not pay Ellis Burks that much money, no matter how much I like him. Let's look at offense. Richard really would be an interesting addition. He's a pretty good second baseman, a good all-around hitter. But I also think he'd be overpaid. Because if we look at his record, it's not been super productive. He's been a good-ish hitter. There's no disputing that. But he hasn't been like an outstanding player. Certainly not worth $9 million a year. All right, Walt Weiss. Okay, let's actually take a quick look at the team. What positions do we have filled? Uh, Pedro Feliz is at least an okay shortstop slash third baseman. We've got Blauser, who's kind of there. Okay, we can basically pick any offensive position except for center field or left field and expect some sort of upgrade offensively. That's good to know. All batters. Jeff King is a fairly talented hitter who plays at a variety of positions. And he wants very little money. This is the kind of guy that we are made to sign. Oh, we're going to do two years. And you do not get a player option. I get to pick if we keep you, not you. Who else could we upgrade with? A Jeff Conine? Pretty reasonably good hitter. Yeah, let's absolutely bring in Jeff Conine. Boop. Two-year deal. Always attractive.
And then I think we'll put in an offer for David Justice. Uh, I will give you a major league contract straight off the bat. Okay, now let's look at pitchers. But we're looking for make good deals. Perfect. Two years only. I'm not signing people to longer deals than that right now. Uh, team option is reasonable, actually. I'll offer you that. This is a good start, and we need to see how many people exactly accept our contract offers. I don't need a bad shortstop. Like, there was nothing redeeming about Keith Legree. No. Woodward, I plan on keeping. He's going to be a starter for us for a, the reasonably short term. Um, he's certainly not going to be like the nucleus of our World Series champions. But he's a good enough hitter and a pretty good defender. And I'm cool with keeping him on the team. Oh, whoops. Hall of Fame voting started. Now remember, we've got a very tiny market, so we can't afford, we'll never have like a really giant, eh, I'm not spending that much money. Jorge Posada, you say? Sykes might be pretty good, Feliz is decent. I'm not making that deal. But this is interesting. If I were closer to contending, I would take it. But I'm not going to be contending in the in the in the near future. Jose Alvarez sucks. Doug Bird isn't so good. I'll keep voting for Bobby Bonds. Maybe he'll get in one of these years. I'll toss a vote for Britt Burns. Definitely Larry Deerker, definitely Doc Ellis and Daryl Evans. Terry Kennedy, meh. A Fred Lynn did get 3,000 hits. He actually had a better career in our version of the game than he did in real life. That's a reasonably good career for Dale Murphy. Plus, I kind of always like the guy. I'll give him a vote. Ryan Sandberg, maybe. Dave Stewart, definitely. Uh, Lou Whitaker, yes. Willie Upshaw, meh. Rick Wise, yes. And we'll toss in a vote for Robin Yao. Oh, I actually didn't have room for Robin Yao. Oh, well. No. I am not remotely interested in a pitcher like Omar Dahl. Even though the real Diamondbacks were. Uh, Conine, Justice, and King. And no, I am not in this kind of market. I like Henry Rodriguez, but I'm not going to give you Jason Sykes for him. I would give you Scott Thompson. Because Rodriguez is just better than Thompson. So I'm going to drop Sykes and see if you take it. Maybe see if I can't get you to throw in like a Russell Brannion. 
No. Okay. Juan Rivera. And I want you to pay him for both years. I see. No, I am not giving you 100% salary relief just because he happens to be better than Thompson. I mean, he's $4 million a year. I'm not denying I could use his services. They do want me to get a popular player. But he's at right field, a position I've already made free agent offers to. So I think for right now, I'm going to pass. If you agreed to eat more of a salary, I would take him off your hands. This is the reliever Juan Gonzalez, and I'm not interested. I do have the first overall pick. I'm not seeing any numbers here that necessarily make me think yes. Obviously. Okay. How good could Josh Hamilton be? He could be absolutely insane. And even if OSA's estimate is true, and we do need a, a really tremendous position player. The other alternative is Ben Sheets. And I do really like Ben Sheets. So that's where we're at right now. So we, we need a cornerstone position player. We've got the cornerstone pitcher in... Oh, but Ben Sheets is so polished already. He's got to work on his control. Hmm. I got to take Hamilton. I think it's better for the... It's better for the franchise as a whole to take a high upside position player. Now, we are going to run into some issues if his contact doesn't improve. But it should. I'm going to take Josh Hamilton. I know it's a stretch, but he's a really great player, and I think he'd be an excellent addition to the team. So we're going to take Josh Hamilton. Is Tampa Bay smart enough to take Ben Sheets? Coco Crisp? I like Coco as much as the next guy, but I wouldn't have taken him second overall. All right, so what do we got left? So the two most interesting players to me right now are Eric Bedard and Sean Burroughs. Um, Bedard is really good stuff. Decent control for a guy his age. His movement's an issue. But he's a second round draft pick. You don't necessarily expect perfection. I can't take Sean Burroughs. I'm going to just take Bedard. I think he's just a better choice. And I don't think it's particularly close. Francisco Pimentel, why do we like him so much? Like, he's a pretty shit player. I don't get it. And then we're getting into the part where the players are either going to be really expensive or not very good. 
Josh Wilson has at least some kind of future. We'll grab him. Grab him. Um, why does no one take as Drupal and Fonte? Yeah, if he picks up a little bit of control, he'd be a pretty reasonable reliever. I'll take him. Uh, batting potential contact. Doug DeVore looks like a nice little player. We could take him, sure. Brian Barnowski. As a catcher, this is a fairly decent package offensively. I will take Mr. Barnowski. Let's look at the pitchers. Let's look at the stuff. Uh, sure, Tony Pierce. I remember Nick Nugabauer. He could be ours forever and ever. And we could get Tomb Spoonie Barger. We could have a monopoly of all the crappy relievers from the 1990s. Uh, you're not getting a million and a half bucks, dude. I don't like your name that much. But I do like your name quite a bit. Um, Let's look at batting potential again. David Lear is reasonably decent. And then I think Charlie Dees will be the last pick I make manually. Josh Hamilton is an extremely high-risk player. Even, I mean, obviously, real-life Josh Hamilton, it, it, more risks that we might know about. Because you kind of want to hit if it's a number one overall pick. But I think Hamilton might be able to manage that. If he's anywhere near the player he was in real life. He could be a special component. Whichever outfield position he ends up playing. Oh, fans are pretty pumped about Jeff King. Nice. Uh, no, you're not getting Nick Johnson. Just don't even ask. Are you absolutely deranged? Absolutely not. There we go. Some nice veteran additions to our club. Uh, who do we got here that we might want to put? Oh, uh, we're not going to lose Sykes. That's not even an option. So we're going to go ahead and drop him on the 40 man. Anyone else? I don't really want to lose Tom Wilson, but I don't really mind if we do. Taco Woods. I wonder how I got the number one overall draft pick. It's got to be like part of the expansion process. Because we were actually quite a bit better than they were. Uh, Brad Tippett kind of sucks. There's not a lot here. I don't really need another center fielder. I could maybe make this work. Let's go ahead and take him. And we'll just go ahead and complete the draft.
What makes you think this is the mode I'm in right now? Is my owner making us win now or something? This is... No, I am not going to sell out my freaking minor league system. Uh, you're going to get shortlisted. I don't really care about, you, about Josh Wilson. Just no. Stop it. Kenny Lofton and Rusty Greer, that's pretty good. Okay. You, my friend, are not only on Prospects to Watch, you are also on the... Disable AI Promotion and Demotion. Nope. It's your own fault for just paying Day or John Olwood like a billion dollars. Look, everyone wants Scott Thompson. What can I get if I actually choose to offer to trade him? Or people just trying to do a salary dump? I'm not getting actually good prospects. I'm yeah, people just want to do a salary dump. And I'm not going to give him away for nothing. No. Look, guys, we are not in the business at this point of trading our prospects. Dave Stewart and Britt Burns both made it. You went in with a Toronto ball cap, right? You're damn right you did. He had a really good career. Could have been a bit better, but his peak was pretty hot. Ellis Burke's going to L.A. Right. How did Josh Hamilton already lose bloody potential? I am not starting a 17-year-old in double A. I'll start him in single A. Maybe. But you're absolutely delusional if you think I'm starting him in double A. Humberto Cota is kind of already ready for the majors. It's better than Bobby Hughes, that's for damn sure. No one else really seems like they're ready just yet. No, I am not trading for a worse version of my current shortstop. <clears throat> We could use another starter. Who's left on free agency that wouldn't mind a short-term deal? Eric Hansen's a pretty solid starting pitcher. Yeah, we can go in on him. Nope. I'm not paying you that much. I could bring in Daryl Strawberry, but I don't really need a position player at this point. I need 
pitching. We could bring in Greg Maddox. This is the Hall of Fame, Greg Maddox, right? This is just another guy's name happens to be Greg Maddox. Yeah, this is the same one. Damn, he has been victimized by some shitty injury luck, but I'm more than happy to bring him aboard. Two years, please, and thank you. There's not a lot else here that's that interesting. I think that's fine. <clears throat> oh, you increased my player development budget and you raised my team budget. Any other good veterans I could squeeze into this roster? I could bring in Storm Davis. I could bring Troy Percival back. Mike Bordick. I mean, he's a great defense second baseman. I just don't have anywhere to play him. Well, I will happily pay you nothing. I'm not happy to pay Jay Buhner that much. I will go ahead and offer Sam Chavez a deal. Uh, yes, we'll bring in Francisco Espino. Sure. Hi, Greg. Welcome to the Majors. And boop. I got a couple new minor leaguers. Why is everyone so eager to get rid of these players? I think they just want to save money, and they see that I have money. My answer to you is no, however. Because I'm keeping Coda. All right. Uh, Coda's going to get a chance to make the minor, the major league roster. No, Eric Bedard is not a reliever. He's a starter. Don't be a little bitch. Um, R.A. Dickey is 24 already, but his control is still pretty dodgy. So we're not going to rush him. Uh, Plimpton. Would already be one of the better relievers on the team, so he can have himself a chance to make the roster. Before I'm going to promote him, I'd like to give him one more year in the minors. But he's not far. I want to give CC one more year in the minors before we move him up. Okay. All right, bench coach, your time to shine.
I am totally fine at second base. I admit he's an intriguing player, though. He's a pretty capable hitter. But I'm not going to give up uh, Cummings or Sanchez just yet. That's the first deal someone has offered me that actually gives me pause. Well, that didn't take long. For our first major injury of 1998. 99, sorry. There goes Randy Johnson. And Wilson Alvarez. We might be dependent on the goodwill of Jose Lima to advance anywhere in the majors this year. I don't need a first baseman. I have Nick Johnson. Why do you think I'd want JT Snow more than Nick Johnson? Oh, come on, guys. Damn it. What the shit? Why must every pitcher blow out his damn arm? Uh, just until April. Like, almost every single new pitcher we've added to the roster is hurt. That's what I got the new team trainer for. Player development. Anything interesting happen? Rivera got better. Johnson's losing velocity. His career's about done then. Uh, Coda got better. Simon got a little bit worse. Nick Johnson got a little bit better. Feliz got better. David Justice got better. Herrera got worse. That's not a great sign. Uh, Brad Penny improved substantially. He's putting some more heat on his fastball. Uh, same for Dickie Gonzalez. All right, Brad Penny, you've been promoted to my prospects. Oh, you're already on my prospects to watch list. Cool. All right. So we've got 31 players, so from 13 are pitchers. So pretty much everyone makes the roster except for one pitcher. Awesome. Which is kind of obviously going to be Fruge if he'll take a demotion, which I don't think he will. So then it's going to be Beckett. Plus, I can't afford to be picky with starters right now. Uh, Jose Lima, you're a starter. On this team, you're a starter. Wow, this is a uh, kind of a garbage rotation. Uh, let's put you on the 40, man. All right, so let's set the pitching staff up. All right, your nominal ace of the Arizona Diamondbacks is Sean Bergman. And it's all downhill from there. 
Uh, Jason Sykes is going to be your number two, but he's going to be on a pitch count. You get 100 pitches. Then D'Amico, then Frouge, then Lima. We may lead the league in pitchers with the first initial of J, but other than that, this is a pretty shit rotation. I'm not going to lie. Um, Mr. Rivera, I'm going to give you a chance to be my closer. Uh, Wendell's going to be my setup guy. The other setup guy is probably going to be Plimpton. Do any of my relievers have really good stamina? Nope. So everyone else is just going to be a middle reliever. And I don't have someone that specializes against lefties, but for right now, that's not a big deal. Okay. Pitching staff done. I mean, maybe Benitez could be more of a long relief type dude. Maybe. All right, lineups. I got to get rid of five players. I don't need three catchers. I just don't. And Bobby Hughes is pretty terrible at being a catcher. Except he's pretty good defensively. I'm going to send him to AAA. Randall Simon, you're not going to be playing all that much. Juan Castro is really good defensively. And I've got a bunch of outfielders to sort through. See you later, Calvin Murray. Goodbye, Rod Myers. i got to get one, rid of one more outfielder. Okay, let's call a spade a spade. David Justice is a right fielder. He's not a center fielder. Would Ruben Sierra take a demotion? I don't believe he would, but we can try. No. He's the weakest of the links, though. He's the only player... He's a mediocre defender who occasionally hits home runs. He had a pretty crappy year last year. Can I get absolutely anything for Ruben Sierra? I do want prospects. What if I offer to eat a salary? Okay. Gary Maddox is perfect. He's an absolutely perfect. I'm going to start decreasing this to see. I have to get 85% of the, the trade. That's fine. Let's give him a couple days to think about it. I want to get rid of him so badly. Would you give me Russ Ortiz? What would I have to throw in? Alex Sanchez. Why does everyone like him so much? Like, Gary Maddox is better than Alex Sanchez. If I threw an Alex Sanchez, what else could I get? Aaron Cook wouldn't be a bad choice. Trot Nixon. 
What about Trot? No. Okay. If I'm going to give you Alex Sanchez, I want you to pay... No. Damn it. David Risky? No. And this is a pretty good deal. This gets us another starter. Oh, God. Russ Ortiz has no control. Screw you. Aaron Cook is kind of the opposite. He'll only ever have control. Uh, Chris Tynan, I think, is the better fit. Now we start figuring out what else we can throw. Jimmy Rollins, sure. He needs to think about it. If he takes this, I'm happy with it. <clears throat> I'm happy to put Alex Sanchez's overinflated prospect reputation to work for me. To get a couple of interesting other players in the deal. I'm not giving you Chris Woodward. Oh, wow. What the hell's changed about Ruben Sierra? If I retain 0%, what can I take? I will take on payroll if it means I get rid of it quicker. Mark Crane's actually a nice back of the rotation candidate. And our pitching staff's pretty damn weak. Honestly, for them eating 35% of this and I lose Ruben Sierra, this is a very reasonable deal to me. Oh, nice. Sabathia and Josh Hamilton both hit the top 10. Nice. All right, that solves that particular issue. And we just need to get rid of a crappy pitcher. Uh... Moda. How would you be as a starter, Mr. Grant? A 30, which is still better than Fruge. So, yeah, you're in. And you're going to be a long relief emergency starter. Okay, now we need to put together our lineup. Because we haven't gotten to that part yet. Nuke them all. I said nuke them all. Alright. Batting ratings. Contact. Bip Roberts is the ideal leadoff hitter for this team. No question. He starts the season in left field. You may be asking yourself, what does this mean for Jeff Conine? I have an answer for you, which probably involves platooning. Um, okay. Next player guaranteed to be in the lineup every single day is Nick Johnson. And I think he's a good fit at our as our number three guy. I'd ideally like a more accomplished hitter to fill in for Johnson uh, as the number three guy so I can make him a cleanup or number five. But this is reasonable. Um, a code is a much better. A code is a better overall hitter than Valentin. Hmm. 
All right, if I remember David Justice, he should have a pretty extreme platoon problem. Yeah. So against right-handed pitching, David Justice is going to back cleanup for us, and he's going to play right field. Quit trying to put David Justice in center. He's an okay center fielder, but he's a really good right fielder. Against left-handed pitching now, we play the incomparable Jeff Conine. Just maybe not as the cleanup hitter, because his power is not so great. Then we have Mr. King, who I think would be a fine... Uh, does he have a platoon split? He's almost identical against both. He's a good power hitter who draws a lot of walks. I'm totally cool with him batting 4th slash 5th in this lineup. So we need a number two hitter. Woodward has the batting eye, but not the contact. Herrera basically isn't that great a hitter. He just got lucky last year. But I think we'll go ahead and put Woodward in and have him bat sack. Because he does get on base. He does have good gap power. He's got a reasonable amount of contact. The important thing is he's likely to get on base. And Woodward is a good enough overall player that I'm not going to try to find a way to bench him. Okay. So the top five of our lineups are complete. Uh, when we get a DH and there's right-handed hitting, I would like Scott Thompson to be our DH. Does he have a platoon split? I'm pretty sure he does. Oh, actually, Thompson's a pretty decent DH, period. He, that'll be his job. Right. So we now got Pedro Feliz batting sixth and playing shortstop. How was he at shortstop last year? He was better than average. Uh, that's decent enough for now. We don't need an amazing shortstop. But we maybe don't want him hitting. No, hitting, having him hit six is fine. Actually, no, it's not. Not when we have a better choice. This really stinks because I know Javier Valentin got a bunch of votes. But Humberto Cota is pretty much just a better hitter than he is. So yeah, it's going to be Cota... Actually, let's see if there's a platoon split. And it's not an extreme one. It's just a couple of points of power, one way or the other. Unless Valentin has an extreme platoon split, which he doesn't. Coda's just the better choice. So, sorry, Valentin. You went from a pretty good rookie of the year, cam a rookie campaign, to one that's not so good. Center field is Herrera. Yeah, Herrera is not going to stick around forever. I think he just had a really good rookie year, but I don't think he he didn't improve, which is the issue. He actually got a slight bit worse. Yeah, at one point his contact was in the 50 range. Now it's well below 40. And maybe he'll turn that around. But in case he doesn't, he's going to be our number 9 hitter. Slash number 8 hitter. And there are your 1999 Arizona Diamondbacks. In some, in some senses of the word, I think we're a better team than we were last year. 
and hopefully we'll get some sweet, sweet prospects when we flip players like Justice, um, maybe even Bip. Uh, what does Bip want to come back next year? Oh, he wants another big raise. What about David Justice? Reasonable raise. We might keep him if it turns out he's worth it. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Fruge is so gone, he just doesn't know how gone he is. Same with Randy Johnson. I really, really, bad, really feel bad for Randy Johnson in this timeline. He's just never been good. The real Randy Johnson struck out tons and tons of batters, and so it didn't matter that his control started to slip. Not this version. Which is a real shame. Okay. I think we've reached ourselves the beginning of the season now. Mariano Rivera wants surprisingly little money. I'm going to go and just give it to him. Just flat out. Anyone else I want to spend on trying to keep? And let's see how David Justice is first. Oh, and we need to do one last thing that I always forget to do. Derpy derp derp. Generate death charts. I'll give you... Oh, I don't care how you do it against DH. I don't. Once a week for Valentine, just to keep Coda fresh. Uh, and then you're going to bat every seventh. Uh, you're again going to get a start every week. That seems reasonable. Off we go. I do... Who am I? Oh, Coda. Boop. There we go. Oh, Mariano Rivera is pretty happy. And now he gets to be the closer, which is what he was bitching about last year. That was fast. Well, that didn't work out, did it? Um... Sam Chavez, I guess. Can always use another long man. Ooh, you're a lefty. Even better. You can be a specialist and long reliever. There we go. Wonder who our obligatory all star will be this year. Probably Nick Johnson. Oh, Jeff Rouge is going to retire. Which means I can't trade him, which is kind of sucky, but I, I feel for the guy. Jesus H. Christ, come on, guys! What the hell is with my pitching staff? Okay, did I or did I not get a guy who's supposed to be really good at preventing arm injuries? Yeah, and yet everyone's blowing their damn arms out. In D'Amico's case, it could very... I didn't, he barely pitched last year. I don't have an answer anymore. Um... Oh, hi, Brad Penny. I didn't want to call you up, but I kind of don't have a choice. I could call up R.A. Dickey, but I don't think he's ready. I want to see his control get better. So yeah, welcome to the majors, Brad Penny. I did not expect you'd be here so soon. 
he can fit right in as the number three starter. And Sykes is hurt too, which is even more fun. Must not be serious since it's not stopping me. Okay, we get Randy Johnson back. That's worth something. I don't know what, but it's worth... Ooh, no, it's not. Rehab assignment to the minors. There we go. I no longer have a need for Jeff Blauser, but it doesn't mean I'm going to just release him. How do I get Johnny Cuto? Oh, Jose Cuto. Never mind. I was like, if I have Johnny Cuto, why don't I have him on the roster? So, how's the team doing? Joey Hamilton just is obliterating single A, which is fun. Oh, we got a Rookie of the Month on Humberto Coda. Nice. All singles. I'd like to see a bit more power than that, but you've still got time to improve, my friend. Well, every, pretty much everything that can go wrong with this lineup is going wrong. Uh, Nick Johnson's not hitting for power or otherwise. Ditto David Justice. Jeff King is reasonable. We've got decent overall hitting. It's just... And our pitching staff has got awful. Uh, which we kind of expected going into the season. Oh, uh, uh, Brad Penny. I am not letting you waste one single more second without a pitch count. we got to try to preserve you. I mean, I could juggle the lineup in particular. I guess we'll switch Jeff King and David Justice. King can actually kind of hit this year, and David Justice apparently can't. There we go. Jeff Conan is hitting us, but he's not hitting for power. How Scott Thompson? You know what? He's the only power bat I've got, so we're going to take it for now. And this isn't designed to be a great lineup. God damn it, Bip. I was going to trade you, you jerk. Alex Sanchez? I mean, as a backup center fielder, we could do a lot worse. And then just let Scott Thompson take over the left field job. I mean, we might as well see what the guy can do over the course of a full season, right? See, so yeah, I guess we'll go and go ahead and call up Alex Sanchez just because he's got to play somewhere. Um. Okay, we do need a new leadoff guy, which I think Woodward can handle. He's had a pretty good year so far. So Woodward, you're the new leadoff hitter. Uh, Pedro Feliz can be the number two. I'm saying Pedro like my dad says. Um, Jeff Conine is pretty solid all around. So I'm going to go ahead and make him the everyday right fielder. David Justice will play in left field against um, right-handed pitching. I 
And I just basically realized I literally just kind of handed. So who's going to play left field here? Oh, right. Uh, we're going to give Scott Thompson his shot to play more. There we go. Maybe have Javier Valentin be the DH here. No, once a week. Code is crushing it, dude. I'm not going to deny him the right to keep playing. Most years, I would definitely let David Justice play over... Uh, Jeff Conine, but so far this year David Justice isn't handling it well. Damn it, Bip. You rat bastard. We can get Jeff Blauser back, though. There is no way in the seven hells anyone's going to give me anything for him. But we'll try. I get Jason Michaels. You know what? Sure, I'll take Jason Michaels for the very simple fact that he doesn't cost $4 million a year. Or Luis Garcia. Garcia is a nice little contact hitter with some good speed. We can use more players like that. We'll take Garcia. Complete. There we go. Sorted. Alright. So we need to start planning who we're going to flip and when. I wish David Justice would just start hitting. Because he would be probably our best trade shit to someone who is getting ready to contend. I could try to trade Jeff Frouge, but people would have to be moronic to take him off my hands. Okay. Where is good old Randy? Where is he? Oh, I need to make quickly sh make sure. No, would you save this, please? I should have to keep changing this every year. I want every team to have at least one All Star. Um, Randy Johnson, come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. No, you're not. Here, Randy D. Johnson. Does anyone of any description want you for any reason? Probably not, but you never know. No. All right, Randy Johnson. You could have conveniently gotten injured again. Man, I don't really want to call him up. Will anyone take Jeff Frouge? I'm sure the answer to this question is also no. What if I eat 100% of his salary this year? I could get Scott Shields, which is frankly... A pitcher who might someday be useful. Otherwise, not Jeff Rouge. I'll see if you throw anything else in, but you'd be kind of stupid to do it. But I'll give it a shot. Uh, Jason Bass. Insult. All 
I don't want Guzman. I would like Aaron Harang, but there's no way you're going to give him to me. Plus, you can't trade him anyway, even if you wanted to. What would I have to include, just out of curiosity? No, you don't want one of my good young players for that. That's not worth it to me. AJ Zap? Antonio Perez is at least super young, but again, I can't get him. Uh, sure. Oh, he's out for too long. I see. What about Mr. Duckworth? J.J. Davis could be a special hitter. But what would I have to throw in? Okay, it's not happening. Fair enough. You want slightly more? How about Tyler Walker? Okay, we can get Tyler Walker. That's not reassuring. Jason Conti. Okay. Cody Ross. I can't have Cody Ross. Doug Sessions. Uh, Ryan Miner. And last but not least, Jason Geralt's. I will happily take this trade, even though I eat the entire salary. Actually, what if I, no, basically I have to eat the entire salary. That's fine. That's not like a world winning, that's not a World Series winning trade or even a World Series making trade, but what it does do is it does free up a spot for Randy Johnson, um, who might still be useful as an anti-lefty guy who also occasionally does some long relief. This has just not been a great year for our pitching staff. Mark Grant, I don't care. You can pitch your arm off. Okay, Greg Maddox is definitely someone I want to start getting some innings. Brad Penny's been the only starter who can kind of handle himself this year. Also, I can talk Randy Johnson into going down to the minors, can I? No. Uh, I guess it's you then, Jose Lima. Okay. Player development. Mm, Nick Johnson's getting better. Good. Pedro Feliz is getting a lot better. Also good. Alex Sanchez is getting slightly better. As is Midra Cummings. And Jose Lima improved his movement, which is different. Nick Nugabauer now throws even harder, but can't hit the broadside of a barn, which is fun. Um, prospects. The season still hasn't started yet, okay. It's only 200 at-bats, but Josh Hamilton's kind of dominating in single A, and he's only 18. 
It looks like he's gotten a little bit worse in center field. And his power's a little worse, but his contact's getting a lot better. If he finds a breakthrough, I would be super gassed right now. Um, let's look at our personnel. Anyone whose contract's coming up at the end of the year. Pitching coach. Eh, Mark Grant likes you. Tony Carpenter. Oh, he's my bench coach. Yeah. Eh. The youngsters don't really like you. Mike Johnston. How would you get along with the Arizona Diamondbacks? Only the pitchers would like you. Mike Matheson. How about you? You'd get along pretty well with a lot of players, actually. I'm going to go ahead and promote you to bench coach. I don't care what you refuse to do, Tony Carpenter. You're fired. You only cost $14,000, but it's like, yeah, you suck, dude. Bench coach. And we'll try to grab ourselves a nice managing kind candidate. I wish there was more information here about what people, like what the different things mean. Uh, he's actually pretty good with power hitters. So let's go ahead and hire Daniel McDaniel. Plus his name is amazing. I don't think anyone would disagree with that assessment. Um, and then I think I'd like to keep you around as my pitching coach. A two-year deal seems reasonable. Let's proceed. We're pretty bad this year, but I mean, you know. Oh, I forgot. Um, what, do you have to be on the 40-man? Yeah. Okay. On the 40 man you go, and then you go to AAA. A trade proposal. I'm good at catcher though. Otherwise I would actually consider this deal. Sam Chavez would like to come back. Sam Chavez is not welcome to come back because he kind of sucks. Larry Walker is like a serious, honest-to-God Hall of Famer in our version of reality. I think he is in real life, too. Don't get me wrong, I love Larry Walker, but I think there's kind of no doubt about it in this timeline. Tampa Bay's done a great job. I mean, they might make a playoff spot. Also, haha, -ha, Toronto. It's almost like you shouldn't have screwed me over by not hitting during the playoffs. I have no sympathy for you whatsoever. A personal message from Mark Grant. You're pissed off. Well, that's your prerogative. Why does everyone think I need a catcher? I do not need a catcher. I just don't. Seriously, I don't need a bloody catcher. Stop offering me catchers. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Damn it. That would have been good for its development. Now we're going to be without him for like years upon years. Uh, we're going to go and just sim a couple of days. And then Wilson Alvarez will just get his old rotation spot back. Finish today. There we go. No real harm done, I guess. Hmm, Randy Johnson's actually kind of handling himself well as a minor leaguer. Or, not as a minor leaguer. Um. Right. After the All-Star game, we're going to have a quick think about who we could flip and get some prospects for. Mike Hampton shut out the Rangers. Damn. If you're asking for a catcher, the answer is no. What, are you mad? Yeah, well, I don't need you to be the closer, dude. I don't need Mark Rudzelanik. I can't imagine any universe in which anybody does. I suppose his family probably does. Wow, Pedro Feliz is our only all-star. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that at all. I figured it probably would have been Nick Johnson, but I guess Nick Johnson's probably having a crap year. Um. All right. Pedro Feliz is actually having a nice little year, so I guess I'm not too shocked. Does absolutely anybody want Turk Wendell? Let's start with him. Because he's a whiny little bitch and he wants out of the team. So if someone will give me a good prospect for him, I'll make it happen. I can have Gary Rodriguez, who is a kind of crappy prospect. Seraphim Rodriguez can hit, but can't play the field. Yeah, Turk Wendell's more a throw-in type guy. I'll put him on the block, I guess. Um, Mark Grant. What options am I going to give for him? Nobody. Jeff Conine's having a pretty decent year. Maybe he's the one I should be trying to flip. We'll start with David Justice, but I've got a feeling no one's going to buy on him. Yeah, just a bunch of not very interesting players. And I can't blame them. Um, given how David Justice is actually playing this season, I don't think there's a real reason to go for him. Jeff Conine, maybe, though. I can get a catcher who doesn't hit. Is it literally the same list? It's literally the same list. Um, Orlando Cabrera is good defensively, but nothing else. Tom Evans is a decent little player. But not really better than Jeff Conine. In any way, to be honest. Uh, what would he want to come back? Because Conine's actually... Oh, Conine already has a two-year deal. I might just let David Justice walk. Oh, Wendell's contract's up at the end of the season. Uh, 
just want to see what my options are as far as players are for Turk Wendell. Uh, Tony Zuniga is a mediocre to decent hitter that plays third base. That's not nothing. This would be a swap of relievers. That doesn't do me any good. The same thing. Terry Pendleton is interesting, but he plays a position I don't need help with. I cannot afford Jeremy Burnett's, but he'd be a nice little upgrade. I'll tell you what, mate. You eat part of his contract, and I will take Jeremy Burnett's off your hands. Because I can just turn him right back around if he has a good year or two. Darren Lewis, no. Kevin Ritz, maybe. That's actually a really good center fielder. There's more here than I expected. I don't need Travis Fryman. He's also too expensive. I don't need David Segui. I don't want Butch Husky. BJ Serhoff's a really good catcher, but I'm not taking on a long-term deal like that. I could get Jeff Blauser back. I think Jeremy Burnett is probably the best choice here. We could get Ken Griffey Jr. Who's only really had one bad year. But I don't really have a spot for him. Yeah, Jeremy Burnett is a good all-around hitter who happens to hit for a decent amount of power. And he's still kind of young. I would like you to keep all of his salary. No. How much of his salary can I get you to eat? All right, we can't get him to eat any of the salary. Fine. Let's go back to shop a player. Wish I could click on these and just sort by different positions. Here, Mike Lieberthal's nothing special. Neither is Ken Hill. Uh, Ruben Manet, maybe. He's a pretty decent reliever, and you can always use those. Maybe a change of scenery would be just the ticket for him. But I'm going to need you to keep some of his salary. Okay, you would literally basically let me upgrade my bullpen for this year. Oh, the next year is a team option. I see. That's fine. Can I get you to throw in a prospect? Probably not. Like Carlos Pena. No, I'd have to give you a pretty damn good player to get Carlos Pena. What about Chris Duncan? Oh, you were just drafted. Okay. Jason Worth. Yeah, you're not going to take that deal. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah, there's just a bunch of frankly bad players.
which is reasonable. This is kind of a treading water type deal. We're not really adding, but we're not really losing either. We must have all the Limas. Give us Frank Lima. Nah, I'll just take this one. Because it gives us flexibility. We have the option to, if we decide to exercise his... Um, we can exercise his option. And for now, he's merely a quite a good relief pitcher. Which we can use. We can definitely use that. All right. Let's play a little bit farther. No, I am not acquiring veterans. That is not at all my intent. Alan Bennis is not bad. I'm not giving you Chris Woodward. I'd have to sign him to a new deal. All right, Chris Woodward is off the table. Okay. Chris Woodward is what you want. And Chris Woodward happens to be a pretty... Woodward's got a chance to be part of the next good Diamondbacks team. No. Just not happening. Would you improve your bloody control, damn it? Harness that knuckleballer, you jerk. Why can't you trade anybody? Trade me for someone I actually want to trade. Here. Let's put him on the untouchable list for now. I don't need a catcher. Why does everyone think I have a catcher hitting 281 who's 19 years old? Sorry, 20 years old. He's fine. All right, Josh Hamilton, you've had a pretty great year. I'm going to promote you to double A. I think you can handle it. CC, I just think you're not going to get a regular enough playing time to improve your control. I think I need to push you to high A, but I'm going to give you the rest of this season. I don't want to be too aggressive with you. Damn it, quit giving me offers and then the offers instantly expire. That's not helpful. I swear to God, stop trying to offer me Terry frickin' Steinbach. I don't want him. God damn. Why does everyone think I'm in the veteran business all of a sudden? Oh, come on. You could have left me Brad Penny. I just think my team trainer's a lying sack of shit for as often as my both well, keep losing pitchers. Hey, Jose Lima, you're back. Um, wow, Lima's clearly the best starter in the bunch. Oof. Mark Loretta, I don't want. Good hitter. Don't want him. Although that's oh, you just signed to do an extension. Screw that. I don't want Brian L. Hunter either. Alright, who do I have left that I do want to get rid of? 
I'm just going to try. I'm just going to move down the line. What am I going to get for Randy Johnson? I do like Rusty Greer, but I'm already okay at outfield right now. That's way too much money. Basically nothing of value. Good to know. Alright, no trading Randy Johnson. David Justice. I doubt anyone's going to give me anything of interest for him, but we'll see. I can get Greg Vaughn, who's basically a better version of David Justice. He is a bit pricey as a veteran goes. But he's got really good power and good discipline. But I'd basically be taking... Oh, yeah, I get him for one year, not two. You sneaky bastards. I could get Kenny Rogers. He's not the pitcher he used to be, but he'd still probably be one of the better pitchers on my staff. Ken Caminiti, nah. I could collect the 1990, the 90s Braves staff, but the darkest timeline version of them. Um, I mean, if I had him for two years, if it was a two-year deal, I would take Bob Wickman. Yeah. If I'm trading David Justice, I want at least two years worth of value. Not, you know, not two years. Paul Reynolds is a shit player. I mean, Kem Caminiti's not bad, but I've already got a third baseman who's actually quite good. And he's got a player option, so he's going to opt out. Yeah, Kenny Rogers ain't what he used to be. I'm not picking up that deal. Ahem. <clears throat> If you ate the entire deal, I would take this contract. <clears throat> but you won't, so I'm not even going to try. So far, none of my one-year bets have turned out. Yeah, Greg Vaughn is absolutely going to go ahead and he's going to opt out of his player option. He'd be an idiot not to. And there's Dwight Wyatt, but he's kind of trash. I mean, Mo Vaughn is clearly the best of the options and I don't have anywhere to play him. There's the shattered husk of Vaughn Hayes, who's still miraculously playing baseball. Get Ruben Sierra back. No. Yeah, I think we just chalk up David Justice as just a bad job and move on. Anyone else I can trade? Make a profit on? I can't get Bip Roberts back. Can I get you to take another really short-term deal? No, he's pissed off. Well, fuck you. 
Yeah. Mm. David Justice was a good bet. I still stand behind my decision to sign him. Um, I mean, even as recently as 97, he had a pretty decent year. Not a great year, but a decent year. But yeah, he just can't hit for contact anymore. That's kind of a shame, but what are you going to do? Nobody believes that, Ty Cobb. Player development. Anything else interesting happen? Craig Maddox got better. That's something. Mark Grant got a little better. Pedro Feliz got better. Nick Nugabar will never throw a strike in his life. Good to know. Humberto Cota is having quietly a very nice campaign. He's been a very good find for us so far. We should get another top five pick, I think. I don't even remember acquiring you. Oh, you're my Rule 5 draft pick. You're still an interesting cat. Oh, let's put you on a rehab assignment for now. This is honestly mostly just to wait until uh, we get the 40 man. That's a shame. Randy Johnson was having a little return party. Okay, we can get Bip Roberts back. I mean... Yeah, Thompson's trash. He's proven he can't handle the majors anymore. I might as well bench David Justice for him. Then I can have Bip Roberts bat second and have Pedro Feliz hit fifth. I definitely want Bip Roberts hitting second if I'm having him in my lineup. Maybe he'll have... I wonder if I can get him to come back for another year. And if so, how much I'd have to pay him. He wants a $1.6 million salary. It's kind of worth it. Because all it takes is a few good months, and I can turn him into a bunch of prospects. At least one or two interesting prospects, maybe. Oh, he takes it. Good work. I mean, Sam isn't very good. Damn, he is making a very strong case to be promoted very quickly. Josh Hamilton is just obliterating baseballs. How's his uh, scouting coming? Contact, power, and eye have all improved. He's getting a little bit slower, but that's fine. Damn. I did not expect to just destroy the minor leagues. He might well be up in the majors in two years. Wow. 
which is saying something. I don't know what it's saying, but it's saying something. All right, so who's the dude? Here he is, Juan Santa Maria. Come on up. We have a really bad rotation. I think the first key to us eventually being a decent team is going to be fixing that. Oh, Milwaukee got eliminated before I did. Yeah, I'm not sure where we'll get the draft. Eh, we're going to be like five maybe. Fifth overall pick should still be a pretty damn solid player. I'm not too fussed with that. Oh, that's it. Sorry, Randy. I would call it schadenfreude what's happening to Toronto, but that would have to imply I have shame, which I don't. I mean, those lazy jerks decided not to hit during the playoffs, so... Yeah, you probably won't be traded again, don't you? I have the desire to win, I just don't have the ability. Those are two totally different things. Yeah, Randy Johnson's not coming back. Well, Nick Johnson keeps improving his contact slightly. That's good. Jose Herrera got a little better. Not much else of note. Man, the Tigers are a juggernaut. Ooh, they got bounced in the first round. That's got to suck. Kansas City swept the Cubs. Oh, Mike Lieberthal, three quarters is 75%. The hilarious part, he had to have been a damn good hitter, Don Budden, because otherwise that's pretty terrible. Let's kind of end the episode just by looking over how the team has done and Fun things like that. Alex Rodriguez in Colorado is just borderline criminal for the rest of the league. And Todd Helton was almost as good. Damn. Roy Halladay had an amazing year for Atlanta. Um, all right, none of that's going to happen. Wow, you really wanted Sam Chavez. All right. Okay. So let's review the team. I've got a thing this is going to be a very short review when it comes to the positive bits. Uh, we got a good year from Chris Woodward. Um, this is probably about Max Woodward. Uh, a fair number of doubles. A lot of doubles, actually. Um, some good walks. A fair number of strikeouts. And some pretty great defense. That's all a man wants from a guy named Chris Woodward. Uh, Jeff King, a nice little addition to the team, uh, provided some pop, 
implied a fair third base. Pedro Feliz, to the extent we have a superstar, he's probably it. 30 homers. Very impressive. 25 doubles and 10 triples. And he was a little under the weather, as short, under the line as shortstop, but still useful. Um, Nick Johnson, he's got a future, but he's going to need to start working harder to make that happen. The doubles are nice, but he should be hitting 20 to 30 home runs a year. Uh, Mitra Cummings, despite the fact I didn't intend to let him play very much, still had himself a pretty decent year. Uh, Humberto Coda. His bat did cool off as the season progressed, but nonetheless still put up a pretty good year. And he played pretty well as a catcher. Um, Jeff Conine was okay. Alex Sanchez didn't get enough playing time to really make a difference. And David Justice was pretty much a waste of a roster spot. Pitching, well, well, the entire roster basically went through varying levels of suckitude. Our two best starters were probably the ones that blew out their arms, which was Brad Penny and, uh, what's his face? Oh, CC. Uh, his control did improve. Uh, he's getting better. His walk rate dropped. His K rate increased. He still got hammered. But I think he's earned a promotion to full season ball. You can pitch at South Bend next year. Like, the rest of your skill set is pretty much there. It's just the control that needs to develop. Which you are ever so slowly working on. I mean... Eh? If I could describe this season of the Diamondbacks in one word, it would be... Eh. Um... Brad Penny had a pretty good year. Alright, Dickie's getting there. He just needs to keep working on the control. But he's also reaching the point where he's basically, he's got to make the majors in the next year. There's a lot of pieces on this team to a good team. I just think it's going to take a while for us to develop it. Mariano Rivera was pretty much a terrible closer. What do you do, like walk everyone? Yeah, that walk rate is not sustainable on a reliever, mate. You gotta work that shit out. Um, but that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, next episode, we're gonna get another top five draft pick, I think. Uh, let's see. Transactions, draft order. Oh, number three. Excellent. <clears throat> So we're going to add another big piece to our next successful team. Our biggest challenge is going to be the simple fact that our payrolls is tiny. And I think we're going to have to spend aggressively to pick up a good pitcher at some stage. Um, how's our attendance been? Are we got over 4 million fans. Like, How much are the Yankees charging for tickets? Ten dollars more than we are. I think our I think Arizona's fans won't mind it too much if we increase revenue a bit. Oh, let's go ahead and bump up scouting. That's fine. Yeah, this pitching staff is pretty terrible. I'm not gonna lie. That's got to be priority number one to improve. 
A full season from Brad Penny would help. Um, he had some very encouraging numbers in his rookie season. Uh, ditto Jason Sykes. I'd like to see more strikeouts from Sykes, but at least he doesn't walk many. So there's some there's some room to be excited about the future, but we've got a long way before we get there. That's just putting it mildly. I hope you have enjoyed the episode, though. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing the video. Commenting down below is always appreciated. And until next time, this has been Indian, and I bid you good day.